Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to the YouTube channel Plantastic. Today we are going to focus on the common questions by the public who don't know about tissue culture and the answers. Part 1. What are the common questions by the public on plant tissue culture? As we are working as a plant tissue culture scientist, our families or the public always ask us during the exhibition or during a gathering, there will always be a question, what is plant tissue culture and why? First, what is plant tissue culture? Does it relate to a country of a culture? No, plant tissue culture is a plant biotechnology that used to apply on plant for mass propagation on plant, which is known as micro propagation. We use the tissue or the organs of the plant as a starting material. The growing plants are referred as the culture. This is what we call plant tissue culture. The second question is, what is micropropagation? Is it a small propagation? No, micropropagation is one of the techniques that used in a plant tissue culture to mass propagate the disease-free plants. Every plant will be microlyzed because the big tree will just grow a few centimeters tall in plant tissue culture container. Some people might ask, can we just grow tissue culture into the big tree in the container? Yes, definitely, with larger container, but it is not practical in terms of cost. Since the plant is very small, does it grow very slow also? No, in plant tissue culture, with the optimization of plant growth regulator, which is known as plant hormones and other supplements, the growth and the multiplication can be boosted, therefore, to produce the plantlets at large scale. Furthermore, from there, people will ask you, why does it call as plantlets, not plant? Alright, seedling is the small plants that germinated from the seed. Plantlets are small plants that generated through tissue culture. Basically, plantlets is a term in plant tissue culture. They also refer as tissue culture plants or tissue culture rice plant. Why we need plant tissue culture in the first place? This is a common question by the public and by my relatives as well. Then I will answer them in such a way that in real world, one seed germinated into one plant only. Sometimes, the seed might not be viable, which means that it might not be germinated. In plant tissue culture, if the seed can be germinated, we can multiply it into the thousands of the clone plants that have same genetic. Why can't we just use conventional cuttings? People will ask you that. Yes, conventional propagation such as cutting and air layering is good, but they need long branches of the shoots. For example, you might need 30 cm of a branch of a tree, which needed to be due for the cutting or air layering. However, in plant tissue culture, we need only few centimeters, such as 1 to 3 cm, or even smaller. Therefore, the multiplication rate is very high with less damage to the mother plants as compared to conventional propagation. This is the most common question asked by the public. What plant can be tissue culture? All plants can be tissue culture. In fact, algae, bacteria, fungus, and mushroom, as well as animal cells, are cultured through the similar theory and concept. After your friends or relative knows what can be tissue culture, they will ask you, is it safe to be consumed? I'm so scared of that. Yes, basically you can consume it because plant tissue culture is known as control C and then control V which is a cloning technique that functions similar to the scanner in which we scan the mother plant and we produce the copies. On the other hand, genetic modified organism, GMO, is the product of genetic editing in which it can be referred as a Photoshop that done on the genes. So, if you ask me whether GMO is safe to be consumed, further experiments have to be carried out on GMO. Alright, which few plant tissue culture can be applied? First, horticulture for sure. Have you ever wondered when you walk into a nursery, you see tons of the plants with the same height? Yes, they are tissue culture rice plants because they have the standardized height for landscaping, plantation, 
we need a batch of plants with similar growth with similar range of fruiting period. Imagine the chaos where you have a plantation and then three plants giving the fruit this week and five plants giving the fruit next week and the next month another 10 plants giving the fruits. In such condition, it will be labor intensive for you to harvest the fruits. Forestry. Forestry industry can use it to conserve the germplasm. Why the tissue culture is always kept and sometimes is sealed? Yes, you cannot open it without permission, please. It is very important. This is to prevent the microbes such as the bacteria and fungus that are present in the air to contaminate the culture which is the plant. Which part of the plants can we use in plant tissue culture? Basically, you can use any part of the plants, which we refer it as an S plant. You can use seed shoot, root, leaf, flower, or even fruit. So, can I use the root? Yes, you may use the root. However, the root is dirty due to the interaction of the root with the soil that having the soil microbes. I would suggest you to use the shoots instead. And the seeds can be used, but it's not suggested because it's not genetically identical to mother plant. Well, most of the people, they will ask you, will the plant die inside the container since there is no ventilation? No, the plants will not die because we supplied the carbon source, which is the sucrose, and it can be self-sustained like terrarium. As we said, the photo period with light, it undergoes photosynthesis by using the light and the sucrose to produce the oxygen for the night. During the night time, when there is no light, they use the oxygen to respirate, thus producing the carbon dioxide for the photosynthesis in the daytime. What is the jelly? The jelly is actually the artificial nutrient media added with agar powder. So, can we just put the plant on nutrient jelly where we grow their way? No, in plant tissue culture, surface sterilization and aesthetic conditions are needed and we need specific facilities for it to be performed. If you are interested to have tissue culture, on your own, you may refer to my another video on plant tissue culture with facilities. In that video, I explain about the lab and home base facilities. Aesthetic condition is referred as in vitro condition that is microbes free under control environment. How they grow with a shoot as a starting material? With toti potency, they will give rise in the shoot or root based on the plant growth regulator the fortify in the media. What is totipotency? Totipotency is the scientific term used in plant tissue culture which is known as the ability of the S plant to grow and regenerate into a plant that maintain all the features of the mother plant. Basically, it means that it's the ability for the plant to become the same plant as the mother plant. So, when there is a root and shoot, people will ask you, can I just take out the plant and plant in the soil? Yes, if the plant had formed the root, you may do so. However, it is better for you to keep it, to multiply it for more plantlets and carry out acclimatization which is known as hardening stage to allow adaptation to be carried out slowly. How do we check contamination? Aseptic culture will have no contamination. However, if you found slimy or smeary fluid, it is bacterial contamination. If you found furry or moldy structure, it is fungal contamination. Remember to decontamination it before you discard it. Why is the agar black in color? If it is totally black, it is due to the addition of activated charcoal powder into the media. If it is light to dark brown, it could be due to the secretion of phenolic compounds by the plants due to the photooxidation. This we will further discuss in future. How do we multiply it actually? By using in vitro splitting of the babies or cuttings, we can subculture it. In vitro here means the aseptic condition, then you need the facilities to carry out this process. Subculture is the process of transferring of the cultures in onto the new media. 
Don't forget to subscribe, share and hit up the notification button for subsequent videos on plant science. You may also find me at the LinkedIn profile for the connection. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.